So what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and after a lot of days I'm making a Ben TK tutorial. So in this particular video, we are going to do this particular particle transition which Ben TK showed in his latest video. So if you guys want to watch this video, the link is in the bio so you guys can definitely check it out. So in this particular video, we are going to show this particular particle transition. So doing this particular transition is pretty simple but you have to do it in After Effects only. No Premiere Pro, no Final Cut Pro, it can be done only in After Effects. For this video, I have kept it as simple as that and I have made this particular transition totally in After Effects without the help of any other plugin. So let's jump right into it and subscribe to this channel if you guys like this kind of tutorial. With that being said, let's just start it. So here we are in After Effects. So the first thing which you are going to do is you're going to go to the Effects and Preset panel and type in CC Ball Action and drag the CC ball action onto the second clip or any other layer which you want to place the transition on. So this will be the initial effect. First what you guys need to do is you need to go to the FS control and change the ball size to 300 and change the grid spacing to 0. Okay, so the next thing which you need to do is you need to set a keyframe at the starting of the transition and set a keyframe on the ball size and on a scatter. And make sure that when you place this keyframe, the second clip, the clip which you are going to transition to, is right below that keyframe. Like both the layers should be on top of each other at the point of the transition, just like I have shown in this video. And then go to the ending of the clip, set the keyframe again and set the ball size to 50 and the scatter value to around 72. And then change the twist property to center X. Now there are other ones also, right? Randomize, brightness and all. You guys can definitely try them out and experiment it. But for this particular tutorial, I kept it at center edge only. And then what you need to do is you need to just make this particular keyframes a little bit more smoother. So first let me just render it out. As you can see, it looks good, but it is not that smooth yet. So I'm gonna just smooth them out. So I'm gonna just select all the four keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and click on easy ease and then go to the draft editor and then make this particular keyframes as seamless as possible, as smooth as possible, just like this. Now I want to do this for the other keyframe as well. Make more like a slope kind of thing, just like this. Grab this to this side and grab the other one to this side and then render it out. I feel that it is a bit fast, so I'm gonna just play with the keyframes a little bit more and change the topmost point a little bit on the right hand side, just like this. It will smooth it a little bit slower, but it will be much more better. I'm doing it for the second one as well. Drag it to the right hand side, just like the previous one, and that is pretty much it. Just render it out and this kind of effects looks way seamless if you add a little bit of sound design as well. And you can definitely change the duration of the keyframes as well if you guys want to. So that is pretty much it. So this is a very simple tutorial without any plugins. This is totally in After Effects. No trap code particular or anything required. So give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it. Smash that subscribe button if you guys want to watch more such videos. And with that being said, I'm Pixel Sammy and I'll be back with another tutorial soon. Peace out. Yeah.